the reality of getting pay rises, opportunity costs. Most courses don't talk about opportunity costs. They assume, oh, if you make 60,000 a year, that's your salary. Or if you get like a 10,000 a year increase, that's your increase, but it's not. There's something called an opportunity cost. What exactly is an opportunity cost? Whenever you make a choice, when you spend money, if you spend your money on something, let's say object A, you don't have that money left to spend on object B. That's something called opportunity cost, you lose out. Now the same is true when you ask for a pay rise or for a better job. You see, let's say you get like a 10,000 pounds pay rise, but the cost of that opportunity, the opportunity cost, is that now you have to work much more, you have more responsibility, and you have to weigh up like, is this 10K increase in salary, is it worth all the extra responsibilities and duties that uh, are on my shoulder as a result? Here is how you calculate if the opportunity cost is right for you. The first thing that you do is to use the last exercise about your real income per hour, but just look at it on a monthly basis. So let's say currently you earn 50,000 pounds a year, which is 37,200 after tax, and your employer offers you a 10,000 pounds pay rise, right? So most people go like, yay, 10,000 a year, that's amazing, it sounds like a lot. But we're gonna be realistic and we have to bring it down. So for 50,000 gross, 37,000 net, now we go to 60,000 gross. But after tax, it's only 42,900 net. So the real increase of your salary is 37K to 42K. And that turns out to be 5,700 pounds a year. And maybe you already feel like, eh, you go from 10,000 pay rise to the actual amount in your bank, which is 5,700. The majority of it is being eaten by the tax person. Now, this amount is only per year. So the 10,000 K a year increase in your salary is actually only 475 pounds a month. And you can even divide it further into like an hourly rate or a weekly rate, you know, which turns out to be about 100 pounds a week extra. So we go from a 10,000 pound increase, which is actually a real increase of 100 pounds a week. How do you feel now about getting that 10K a year pay rise? I remember in my previous job, you know, I, I begged for a pay rise before I knew what I'm teaching you now. And I got like a 2K a year pay rise. So I was like, yes, I got a 2K a year pay rise. Woohoo. But it turned out to only be a couple of pounds a week. And for the additional workload, it wasn't really worth it. So this is your opportunity cost. This is your due diligence. You need to be 100% conscious. Like, what does it mean to you? And is it really worth it? So here are the questions I want you to ask yourself. How much is your monthly pay rise after tax? If you aim for a certain amount, how much is it going to be after tax? The second question is, how many additional hours do you have to work in order to get a pay rise? If nothing, great, it doesn't really matter. Anything extra is great. But in a previous example, if you earn 475 pounds a month more, but you have to work 10 hours a week more, is it really worth it? Or is it better just to stay the same and wait or uh, go after a better opportunity? Another question you can ask yourself, if you still have the same amount of hours, is there more responsibility that you have to take on? In most cases, it can actually be quite a lot. Like if you go from, you know, being an accountant and you get like a 10K pay rise and you become a senior accountant, but now you have to, you know, I don't know, sign the books or do audits or it's a lot of extra responsibility that can cost you big time if you screw it up. Is it really worth it? You need to be aware of these things and no one is talking about it. No one talks about opportunity costs of pay rises and your net pay rise, but this is so, so important to be aware of. 
so I don't mean to, you know, bust your uh, a fantasy bubble of pay rises, but you need to be aware of this. Otherwise, you get a 10k pay rise, and you know the next month you look at your salary slip and you only see 200 pounds more a month. You're probably going to be really disappointed. And when you do your calculations, you realize, oh shit, I did get what I asked for, but it didn't give me as much as I thought it would. Other questions you can ask yourself is, is it real career progression or is it not? Does it make you happier? Does it give you more joy? Is it worth it after the tax and responsibilities? Or if you get a job from a recruiter or elsewhere, is it worth the switch? Is it worth switching your current role for that new role in a new location, a new place? Is it really worth it? If you can answer yes to most of the questions, congratulations, you did it well. But if not, the best thing you can do is maybe to wait and look for other opportunities.